Y'all hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all, strange things are afoot on the Weight Watchers app. Have you seen the updates and the changes? There's some actually really cool stuff going on over there and we'll get into all that. But before we do, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. Yeah, so the Weight Watchers app has actually updated and added some useful features like ways to figure out what you can eat or what you want to eat, I guess, when you go out or when you stay home and easier ways to figure out the points for all of those things. So I tell you what, I've been staying up way too late at night reading books. <laughs> I still have to get up early in the morning and teach classes. So I'm a little bit knackered right now. So I'm gonna go get on the bike and ride for a while and try to wake myself up. So let me do that. Let me get a breakfast and a shower. I'll meet y'all back, I don't know, somewhere either in the office or here somewhere. I'll get set up on a tablet or some kind of device where we can look at the app and we'll talk our way through some of the changes and how we can apply those to better manage our sort of eating and fitness routines. Then I gotta do another workout cause you know I'm doing that crush your core thing. I gotta crush my core some. So I'll do that, we'll make something, we'll eat something. We'll have a grand old time, but first, I gotta get on the bike. So y'all do what you gotta do, I'll do what I gotta do, and I'll meet you back to go over the app. All right, y'all, I showered, I worked out, no wait, I worked out, I ate breakfast, I showered. Now let's get on this and figure out what's new in the Weight Watchers app. Cause I know there's new stuff and I kinda know what it is, but I haven't really messed with it. So I wanna try to do this sitting on the couch with the felons instead of doing it like at my desk or over there because if I do that they're going to be pawing and trying to get my attention and here they're just sleeping so well at least for now they are so we'll see how this goes you can probably already hear one of them snoring but we'll see what we do so I have my iPad I'm going to go ahead and open the Weight Watchers app on here and I don't typically use the Weight Watchers app on the iPad so hopefully it's at least relatively the same as it is on the phone and we can work this thing out. So you can see it down across the bottom, there are tabs. And the first one, now this is where you go to like your day and those kind of things. Y'all go ahead and judge me. I'm not, well, I have not been great about keeping up with tracking my progress, like my, my eating and stuff on my Weight Watchers app, but Whatever, you can judge me if you want to. So you can see I've tracked zero points for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, or water today. Now this water thing, I'm never gonna track because y'all know I drink out of like 40 ounce jug water cups. So I have no idea how much I'm drinking because three quarters of that is ice and I just keep refilling it all day. So whatever, I drink water, I pee, things are fine. So, the first tab at the bottom is your day and then your progress. And this is kind of cool, y'all. This might actually get me to do some things because it shows your trends. So you can see here, you're not gonna see my weight, so y'all quit trying to look. But you can see, it'll graph your trend. Like if you're going up or down, what you've lost, and it'll show your daily points budget and how you're doing this week versus last week. And I really like this activity one, that it shows how many activity points you've earned this week versus last week. So I like that, that it allows you to compete against yourself. And I think y'all know that I'm huge on that, that I think that we need to focus on not necessarily doing better than somebody else, but just like, improving how we are doing, right? So if you do better this week than you did last week, then that's a win. So I like that they're now allowing us to very easily see our progress against ourselves, not against some like random matrix that they make up. So I think that's really cool. And I like that, I was gonna say I like that it's putting my business all out there, but when I'm putting my business all out there, and y'all already know, I get 23 points and I have 23 points. Actually, I have 22 points left today because my breakfast is one point. So um, I have 22 points left today plus 19 weeklies because I haven't tracked anything. But anyway, so 
you have your my day and that's where you go in and track what you eat. Like y'all, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me track everything that I eat, but let's put in, I really did have a banana this morning. So let's track a banana as a snack. So you can see I put in my snack and it shows up there under snacks. So y'all, same as always, right? But it's under my day now that you can go in and track your breakfast, lunch, dinner, your snacks, and then your water intake. And then we talked about progress. Here's what I wanna talk about, is what to eat. I am most excited about this, cause y'all know I eat the same things all the time partially because it's easy for me. I know what groceries to buy. I know how many points it is. I know how long it takes me to make it, to eat it, all those things. There are no surprises. But with this, and I know that these things were available on the app before and in the website, for sure they're available on the website. I never messed with this on the app because I felt like it was just all kind of convoluted and hidden in there. Well, now it's just tabs across the bottom. So you can easily go in and find what to eat. So there are featured articles. And then if you click see all, then you go into the categories. So they have some what you might also like, some budget friendly recipes, which I think might be really nice. Some egg recipes, some coffee hacks. So these, you see here, I showed you the egg recipes. So they have different categories for like different main ingredients like this. The most valuable ingredient is eggs. Then they have chicken breasts, which that's another winner for us, right? So you can go in and look, let's say we wanna make um, quick chicken burritos. First of all, obviously straight out the gate, it shows us that it's five points. Then you go in and you can clock how many servings it is for two servings. And y'all know Weight Watchers math, for two servings, you don't just double the points, right? One serving is five points, two servings is nine points, three servings is 14 points. That's interesting math, but anyway. And then standard recipe, right? Um, it shows you your prep time, your cook time, and then gives you your ingredients. And y'all, I love this, cause you know, I can't be bothered to follow somebody else's recipe. It shows you the points that you pick up per the ingredient as it's weighed out or like measured out in the recipe. So if you see like the cooked long grain brown rice, you're picking up three points or if you're like, half a cup of brown rice is not worth three points to me, switch it up. So then you know how, like where all of your points are coming from and you can change it up to alter the points in your recipe without really having to do a whole lot of math. But I think that's really cool and very useful. Are y'all hearing this dog snoring? So cooked chicken breast, some super fast meals, newest recipes. What I'm super excited about is zero point recipes. Y'all know me and my zero point recipes. Let's look at some of these. Sheet pan cauliflower reggie right veggie. Bleh, try that again. Sheet flat. Nope. Sheet pan cauliflower veggie rice with eggs. No. I went through all that to read that and no. Thank you. But you know what? Somebody might like that and that's Y'all, that looks like a lot of bulk and not, I was gonna say not a lot of points, that's zero points. Banana bread muffins, yes please, zero points. How are we gonna make banana bread with zero points, you ask? I have no idea, but let's find out. Greek yogurt, bananas, chickpeas. Y'all know how I love me some chickpeas. Why did that just, did y'all see that little excitement thing? Um, baking powder, ground cinnamon, vanilla extra. We have all these things. Y'all guess what we're gonna make today. We are totally making banana bread muffins. Might be good, might be awful. I don't know, we're gonna find out together. But again, that's something that I like about this new setup in the app is you can go in there and just kind of futz around, see what's there. Crab meat ceviche, what in the actual world? Is this real crab meat? Tomato, red onion, 
yellow bell pepper, cilantro, ew, fresh lime juice, jalapeno pepper, canned crab meat. That sounds really good, minus the cilantro. I know y'all are judging me. That's all right. That's all right. Y'all can judge me. Crispy roasted black beans. Did I tell y'all about the time? I'm sure I did. That remember when we were messing around and just randomly making stuff in the air fryer? And I made chickpeas. I didn't make chickpeas, but I like toasted chickpeas. Well, I left them sitting out on the counter just to see what would happen. Not, you know, like to see what the intern would do. So he came in and he's like, what are those? I said, oh, just little crunchy bits. Yeah, what is a little crunchy bit? Like he didn't even ask. He, I mean, he asked and I said little crunchy bits. He didn't say little crunchy bits of what? He didn't say nothing. He just ate one. He's like, oh, that's a little weird. And then he ate another one. He's like, oh, that's not bad. And he ended up snacking on um, air fryer toasted chickpeas, which didn't last very long. Like they got a little soggy before very long, but it was really funny because he will not eat chickpeas. He won't eat hummus. Nothing like that, but he ate little crunchy bits. Anyway, crispy roasted black beans. All right, anyway, y'all get the, <gasps> you know what we should make? Broccoli chive egg cups. We haven't made egg cups in a forever day. And remember, I got that cute little um, mini muffin pan that I got to make my miracle muffins when I went on the road little egg muffins like that, but in the little mini muffin pan, those would be good. Cause y'all know I'm back to my crazy schedule now where I teach from like, I'm up from 2 a.m. Well, 2 a.m. until all day, hour time on Saturdays and Sundays. But I teach from like 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. or something. And then I wanna get on the bike right at eight. So, I don't eat breakfast for like until like 1030 and I'm famished hungry and I have a horrible workouts. So if I make some of those little egg cup, egg muffin things and put them in the fridge and just snack on them in between classes, that would be good because then I won't be falling out hungry. All right. So I'm just sitting here rambling and we're strolling through this together, but so recipes, and I haven't even gotten to the good thing yet. All right, so those are recipes, but y'all, here is what I thought was, I, I'm getting all excited about that, not even getting to the most exciting thing. So that's just random recipes. Here's what I thought was the best thing. So that's, again, across the bottom, we have my day, progress, what to eat, connect, and then this clinic thing, which we're not even gonna get into. But under what to eat, at the top you have at home. So that's recipes and stuff, what to eat at home. And then y'all, the other tab at the top is eating out. Now, I know that in the past you could go in and put in like, I don't know, McDonald's chicken nuggets or whatever, and it would come up what somebody had put in for the points value. But now look, there are recipes, I mean, sorry, restaurants listed in here. Look, there's McDonald's. You want a McDonald's hash brown? Four points. You want two McDonald's hash browns? Nine points. Now, some days, y'all, you just need two McDonald's hash browns. You clock the nine points and you go on with your life. But now you know that two McDonald's hash browns are nine points. And you can, y'all know that to me, okay, I'm a little bit psycho and like obsessed with points, but they're also data points, right? And sometimes I think it's important to just look at the points and decide, is it worth whatever you're feeling, like however much you want those hash browns or that, you know what I really wanna see? Let's see if it's in here. Um, they might not even list it because it's probably so ridiculous, but what's that exceptionally good and ridiculously um, McGriddle? How many points are in a McGriddle? Probably all of them. And then half of tomorrow's as well. But you know what, y'all? If you want a McGriddle, adjust and eat your McGriddle. Um, Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin is eight points. So this, and I think they probably don't put in things like the um, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle because... They don't want us making those choices, but there are some doable options at these places. And this gives you the point 
to quantify those. Uh, this says cheeseburger. This is not a cheeseburger. This is, looks like a quarter pounder with cheese is 11 points. Because to me, uh, McDonald's cheeseburger is one of those like you get two and a happy, not happy meal, but two and an extra value meal cheeseburgers. That looks like a quarter pounder with cheese. Um, McChicken without mayo is 10 points. Oh, filet of fish, 13 points. Do y'all remember that song? Big Mac filet of fish, quarter pound of French fries, icy Coke, thick shakes, sundaes, and apple pies. All right, 80s babies, stand up. I know I'm aging myself. Anyway, McDonald's is in here, Panera, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. And here's another thing. So it gives you the things. And down at the bottom, it gives you some point saving hacks. Like at Starbucks, it tells you to try a cappuccino instead of a latte. It has less milk, but more foam and it's fewer points. Here's an interesting one. Uh, let taste guide your choice of milk. Plant-based versions, soy, almond, oat, tend to be sweetened, so won't save you points over non-fat regular milk. Y'all, I buy unsweet, um, what is it, unsweet, non-fat almond milk, whatever it is, like that plain, boring, silk almond milk, but it's unsweet. So unsweet, plain almond milk, that's what it is. So I guess at like, I don't go to Starbucks often, but the last time I went, I ordered whatever I had with almond milk, thinking I was like, although if I didn't get almond milk, I would have gotten like half and half or cream, so I definitely spared myself points off of that. But I didn't even think about the fact that their almond milk was sweet almond milk. So it wasn't like the, you know, three points for a cup or how many ever points almond milk that I use. But anyway, whatever. Starbucks. So the app now shows us choices at some choice restaurants and different types of cuisine. So like Italian, it shows you some different sort of more generic choices that you can make at restaurants. And again, obviously, your, you know, grilled calamari. Ooh, that looks good, y'all. Um, okay, that says zero points. But, okay, let's talk about that. So grilled calamari might be zero points at Tony's up the street, but at Gerardo's down by the bay, they might drizzle it with olive oil. So instead of zero points, it might be one point, right? So this just gives you sort of an idea, or breadsticks. How are breadsticks one point? Um, I don't know. But again, it gives you sort of a jumping off point to calculate your points when you go out to eat. And to me, it's sort of liberating. Like it allows you to go out to eat and sort of function with everybody else and still on some level sort of maintain a count of your points. So, ooh, y'all, seafood linguine. All right, let me get out of this app before I end up eating everything. Um, the Your connect is in there where you can you know, it's kind of like the social media. Um, I'm horrible at this, obviously. I think I've, I've like, I, I keep saying I'm going to start posting on there and then I'll post like twice and then not anymore. But, and then the clinic thing is there. And I don't even want to try to talk about that because I don't know anything about it. So I'm going to stay completely out of that. But that is the fifth tab across the bottom of the revamped app. So let me get out of here and y'all let's go make those banana nut muffins, banana bread, banana, whatever those things were. Let's go make them. I'm not going to make the egg muffins. I don't know. I have to think about, <sighs> you know what I need to do? So I did my ride this morning, but I'm doing that crush your core workout. So I need to go do a workout. So let me do that. Let me go do a workout and then I'll meet y'all over in the kitchen and we'll for sure make those banana bread, zero point banana bread muffins. Then maybe I'll make some of the egg cupcake things. What can you call them cupcakes? Egg muffins. Then maybe I'll make some of those little bitty egg muffins and just show you cause y'all there's nothing interesting about making those, but let's actually make those banana bread muffins together. Cause we haven't actually cooked together in the kitchen in a while. So I'm gonna go work out again and then I'll meet you in the kitchen and we'll make something. All right, so I'll see y'all over there.
All right, my workout is done. I'm officially done working out for the day, so now I can eat. So let's make these muffins. Now, the recipe calls for 15 and a half ounces of chickpeas drained and rinsed. I drained them, I'm not rinsing them. So really, we're just supposed to dump all of this stuff into a blender and let it go, but I'm gonna pre-mush my chickpeas a little bit just because Y'all know I do a lot of mushing of chickpeas for my hummus and I just want to give them a little bit of a head start. So let me get these going. And then into that, I'm gonna just open this to add instead of trying to push, instead of trying to dump stuff down that chute. So now we add four eggs. Y'all there's, I don't know, we'll see how this comes out. I know, don't crack eggs straight into your mixture. I know. No, I hear you. This will be easy to scrape shells out of if I end up shelling myself. Ooh, that was aggressive right there. All right, so we do four eggs. I lost my towel already. Three overripe bananas. Now these were going to, well, odds were just about even that, oh, I gotta give the felons a bite. Odds were just about even that these were either going to be miracle muffins or that they were gonna sit on my counter and get moldy and end up in the trash. So this is actually a good use of our overripe bananas. They aren't all as ripe as I might like, but that's all right. So three overripe bananas, so we're a can of chickpeas, drained and pretend rinsed. Three, the dogs are like, wait, there's more ends. You got one end, dog, you're good. Three overripe bananas. A half cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Y'all know we got that. feel like so this is did I tell y'all this is supposed to be in a blender but I'm using my food processor like I know the literal difference between a blender and a food processor but I don't know the pragmatic difference like I don't know that it's gonna make it come out different but we'll see if it's a fail then we'll blame it on me not mixing my chickpeas or not blend, not rinsing my chickpeas and using a food processor instead of a blender. So we got the yogurt, we got the bananas, we got the chickpeas. We have two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and a half teaspoon of salt. So we'll sprinkle that in all nice. 
We already put in four eggs. We need two teaspoons vanilla extract. I got the good vanilla extract because that's what I use in my overnight oats for my breakfast. Put in a, put in a little more. I like vanilla. There, and that's something else we can blame it on if they, if things go all pear shaped, but I put in too much vanilla. All right, I'm gonna mix and I'll be back. <laughs> I mean, that liquefied right sharpish, didn't it? It says mix till smooth, y'all. <laughs> That's straight up liquid. One more good little blast. And uh, let's see what we made. All right, I got just a regular muffin tin and I lined it with the silicone muffin tin liner things. So I'm gonna scoop this in there. And you're supposed to make a dozen, but there's zero points. And no matter how many you eat, there's zero points. So it doesn't matter. Like portion size doesn't matter. This might be why I should have used a blender. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this up, I'm gonna use a, just a scooper, but I'm gonna put this up under it so I'm not dripping all over myself. Oh, there we go, that's nice. Y'all, this is really liquidy. Which I don't know why I'm concerned about that because I don't know what it's supposed to be like, but I kind of had a feeling while I was dumping in all of those like moist ingredients that it was gonna come out pretty moist and it's pretty moist. All right, let me get these scooped up and into the oven. Y'all don't need to sit there and watch this. They're gonna go in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. And I'm gonna watch them closely because y'all, I don't know what happens when you use chickpeas instead of flour to bake something. And um, I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little disconcerted. So uh, let me bake these and I will be back and we will do a taste test and see what zero point banana bread muffins come out like. All right, so y'all sit tight and I'll be back. All right, y'all, we have muffins. Let's see how they came out. They were in the oven for right at 30 minutes and I stuck a toothpick in to make sure it came out clear. So when they first came out, oh, that's hot. I know, they just came out of the oven. When they first came out, the tops were a little bit domed. So now I'm starting to wonder if maybe they're not quite done yet. So let me hack into one and see what we got. They're very dense. That's what we got, I don't know. Let's see, I'm gonna give it a try. It, I don't know, I mean, it seems done. Y'all, I did a little stretch, <laughs> tell you what, those ab workouts might not seem like much, but those small movements, whew, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, here we go. It feels, I don't know, it feels a little weird. Oh, it's weird. Mm-mm. Not a fan. The taste is okay and it's zero points. So there's that. So I can see where it would be, maybe be filling, but so we used one can of chickpeas and half a cup of yogurt for, this is 12 muffins and there was still enough stuff to, I don't know, maybe it would have made 16 muffins. Mm-mm. It's not good. I know I keep eating it. It's not awful, but oh no, it's really, it's not good. It's kind of, sorry. It's kind of 
Is it possible to be bland and distasteful simultaneously? If so, it is. And y'all know I like chickpeas like I'm about to eat me a sandwich with some hummus. It's grainy because, you know, when you grind up chickpeas, it becomes this sort of mealy mush, which I guess is why you have to put in all the moisture stuff. That's how I would describe it. It's mealy mush. I don't like it. I don't hate it. Definitely not going to make it again. Don't recommend. So if you ever wonder why we don't make things in real time together, because when we do, I come up with things like this. And y'all, hang on, let me turn off the oven. Because I shan't be baking the rest of that. I'm going to just dump that stuff straight down the garbage disposal. I have not been a big fan of Weight Watchers recipes in the past because I've thought at least the ones that I've tried have often been like mix salsa in with a bunch of stuff or like pre-mixed stuff like, you know, like salsa or a, I don't know, cake mix or something like already made things that you put with other things to create stuff. And I just don't like that. Like I don't like all of those ingredients in my stuff, which is why I was kind of excited about trying this because at least this was like, you know, just some basic ingredients that you put together. It just wasn't a good selection of basic ingredients to put together. So now we know. And I did not make those other egg muffins, which I was gonna make while these were baking because I did my stretchy workout. So that's a fail and a fail. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But I am very excited about the new layout of the Weight Watchers app. So I guess you gotta take the crunchy with the smooth, right? <laughs> so y'all, that's all I got for you today. I'm gonna get out of here. Let me know. Have you, you know what? Now I do wanna know. Have you made Weight Watchers recipes that you like? Let us know in the comments which ones you've made in the past or which ones you make on the regular. That not Weight Watchers friendly recipes, but recipes from the actual like Weight Watchers app. Or if you go to meetings and you pick up those like recipe cards, what recipes from the meetings do you like? Let us know in the comments. Y'all thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. If you made it all the way through that debacle, we are most definitely friends. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. I upload food and fitness videos the beginning of every week with some book videos sprinkled in between. See you on the next one.